We are, and also a fresh peach chutney. Have you washed your hands, Milo? Have you, Dominic? Yeah. Have you at home? Brilliant. Let's cook, cook along. along. Yes, let's cook along. The equipment we'll need is... Baking tray. Yep. Yeah. Weighing scales. A small bowl. A large bowl. Some cling film. Yep, yeah, we do. And... A measuring jug. A chopping board. Measuring spoons. A spoon. A knife. A wooden spoon. A spatula. And two rolling pins. We do. Or one rolling pin. <laughs> We need a rolling pin each so we can do some rolling later. And then the ingredients, Milo, do you want to help me? Can you tell me what this is? Do you know what this is? Flour. It is. This is a strong white flour. Really good for making any breads. We also have some... This is the... Pastry. It's yeast. So yeast is really important. It helps the uh, bread rise. We've also got some... Oil. Yes, and this is an olive oil we have. We've got a little bit of salt. An egg and some extra seasoning. So we've got garlic, raisins, coriander, chilli, caraway seeds and fennel seeds. This is everything we need for our naan breads. We'll go through the chutney equipment and ingredients later. Let's get going then boys. We need the weighing scales to weigh out the flour. So if we get the bowl, Milo, will you tip in some flour for me? I'm going to use a spoon to do that. And we're going to put it on and we're going to need to get 250 grams. So we're going to take it down to zero. I'm going to put until we get 250. Brilliant. And in the meantime, I'm going to get Dominic to get me 150 millilitres of warm water. Mm -hmm. Keep going. We're using warm water because it helps activate the yeast. This one looks like a plane. Nice. Wee -wee. Wee -wee. 210, we're very close. There we go, we've got it. 250, well done Milo, thank you very much. So we're going to pop this back to the side. So in here we've got two teaspoons of the fast action dried yeast. They come in a packet, usually of seven grams, and roughly one and a half packets will take you to two teaspoons of your dried yeast. So that's just a little tip. Let's put these ones out of the way. Milo, can you add that into the flour for me? And then I'm going to get you, please, Dominic, to crack the egg over the bowl using the back of the knife, if that's okay, and then tip the egg into the bowl. That'd be great. Thank you. Brilliant. Super. So, Dominic's just done the eggs. Because he's handled them, I'm going to get him to go and wash his hands straight away. Always do that. So we now need to add half a teaspoon of salt to the other dry ingredients. Fab! Thank you, Milo. We're going to give this a little mix with our spoon. There we go. So do you think that's all the salt and yeast mixed together, Milo? Oh, there. Can you make a little well in the middle so that Dominic can put his egg in there? Dominic, if you can then add that one in for me. Okay. That's it. Plop it in. So Ooh. we now... <laughs> looks good, doesn't it? Do you want to mix that in for me, Milo? And then I'll get Dominic to mix the water together. So you break mix up the, the egg. egg. That's it. Try and get all that lovely yellow yolk. Mix it in, mix it in. Well done, Milo. Here we go, Dominic. Let's put it on your board. Can you add the water bit by bit? Just a little dribble and then start to combine it. Always hold on to the bowl to make sure you stabilised your bowl for me. Let's give it another dribble. We don't want to add too much liquid all at once. Make sure your spoon touches all the sides and the bottom of the bowl. This might take a minute or two, so why don't you pause now if you need to. So the next part we need to do, we've got it all mixed together into our lovely ball, is actually to give it a good knead. Kneading is a really important part of bread making because it allows all the glutens to stretch and to form and to allow that air to rise up through the bread once it's proved and then cooked. So we need to put some flour on our boards. If, how about if I give a little shimmy over the top of your board and then you can put your fingers in it. Mm. And we're going to put this on the top. We get all that excess dough. Oh, it's very sticky. There we go. It's getting sick. No. Milo, I need you to get your hands over the top. Make sure you've got plenty of flour over the top of it as well. Let's get some. And we're going to give it a push down and a pull back. 
roll over and then we squash, do the it. squash it down we do the squashing down that's right and then we squash. need to pull it back over ourselves because this helps form air mm. into it I can and smell it pretty can you well half the work and give some to Dominic as well there we go if you work with that bit thank you Dominic let's get you some flour too I know it's really sticky stuff you'll know it's nearly ready after all the kneading because it'll start to come away from your hands and your fingers there we go if you can give it a pat down and then I need you to stretch it across and pull it over give it a turn stretch it across and pull it over so we're going to keep kneading until it gets really smooth it should take about 10 minutes or so why don't you press pause now and we'll see you shortly so there we go there's our lovely piece of dough combined together you've done some great work it looks lovely and we're going to get our bowl that we already used so we're saving up and washing up and grab some cling film there we go we've got our cling film and we're just going to cover it and then place it somewhere warm for it to rise this will take about an hour so whilst the dough rises why don't we make our peach chutney we have everything ready for our peach chutney you need to gather all your utensils Dominic tell me which ones we've got a colander a large bowl yeah a chopping board yes a juicer this is a beaker we're using a beaker and some scissors for our herbs vegetable peeler a spoon yeah a fork a big knife and a small knife we have we've got everything there in our utensils milo can you tell me what your ingredients are that we need a lime and orange olive oil soy sauce pepper well done this can you smell it tell me what it smells like lemony it is, smells a bit lemony it's coriander it's one that we coriander. use a lot yeah a lot it smells like lemon Peach. and boing, 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 boing. what kind of onions are they spring onions spring onions well done milo right let's start making our fresh peach chutney shall we dominic why don't you start by washing the coriander the peaches and the spring onions Squeeze the orange juice then Milo and we'll put it in the bowl ready for later. Squeezy. Yep, let's get your chopping board. There we go. If we're going to make it into half we need to use our bridge. Well done Milo, that's great. I'm just going to help you. We need to turn round so we're going to do it right through the middle and we'll keep the top and the bottom free. Saw down. Oh you're doing really good, can you do that last bit? I'm just going to help him stabilise the orange until he gets right through. So there we have our orange cut in half. So I need you to now squeeze the juice out. So I'm going to get you to press down. If you fill it all up, we can pour it into the bowl straight away. Oh, it smells amazing, doesn't it, Milo? Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I'm going to get Dominic to strip the um, spring onions and make those nice and tidy. So if you could take the outer leaves off for me, that'd be great, okay. please, Dominic. Let's hold that down for you, Milo. Just give you an extra helping hand. Should we do that? Can we do the lime as well? So we've made our tunnel for the knife to go through and we're cutting through that lime. It smells lovely. It does smell lovely. Now, can you give that one another squeeze for me? So when you squeeze, you must hold onto the container and push down. Okay. Wow, look at that. Can you see all that juice? So we're just going to trim this, take that bit off and we'll put it here. And then we can make them into nice little thin strips. Can you see on the back of my yeah. knife? Yeah but we're going to use our claw. Can you see my fingers? Yeah. They're straight down. They're not like that. Mm -hmm. They're up like this, up high. So then our knife can't lift much higher than our knuckles, look. And then take the tops off all these and put them to the side mm -hmm. and keep the rest of the onion over another side. That's brilliant, Dominic. Really, really good. Milo, you've done the oranges and the lime, so we've got all our citrus squeezed. We can pop those away. Milo, I need you to do the chopping of the coriander. So. Pop it in, that's great. And then you know how to use your scissors. Blend all those little bits of coriander into much smaller bits, easier to eat and bite. How far I, down do I have to? I'd like you to go down to the white, okay. please. That's great. Great. So our peaches now need peeling. Milo, I'm going to get you to do the nice soft one. It should be just soft enough for the little one's fingers. They can just start to get in and peel away the skin. I'm 
going to leave you, Milo, to do that. Is that okay? There we go. Now you may get some peaches that are a little bit firmer and this is a really good technique using our fork secure method. So we need to just stab it Dominic, mm -hmm. just shy of the top of the peach and then we're going to use our peeler just to take the skin off. So if I can leave you with that, that'd be great. It's quite satisfying and really Yay, good. Yeah, I've got into the juicy bit. Oh, the juicy bit. So the softer the peaches are, the juicier they are. So our lovely peaches are done. The boys have done them one by peeling with their fingers and one with the peeler. Now we're going to use the bridge method to cut through. I'm just going to do this for you boys because we have a stone all the way through. And then I will give it a twist and we can see our stone and the flesh underneath. I'll leave you to try and pull that okay. out, Dominic. That'd be great. Let's do the same for you then, Milo. Let's give that bridge. Make sure we've got all the way around. There we go. Ooh, yeah. And then I'm going to give it a twist. Can you get that out for me, Milo? I'll leave you to do that. Have you done it? Yeah. Fab? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. Thanks, Milo. So we need to turn them over onto their flat bottoms so we can make them nice and stable. And then we're going to use our bridge again and cut them into slices and then use our claw to make them into little pieces. We have all our ingredients in there. We just need to finish off with the dressing. So we need to put in a dash of soy sauce, a dessert spoon of oil. If I can get you to pour, why don't you pour in there for me? Fill, it, fill that spoon for me of the oil. That's plenty. Brill, wow, look at that. No more, no more oil, no more. And then we need a good crack of black pepper. Good, good crack it. And then I'll get you to do some stirring, Dominic, to mix it all up. That's enough, thank you. Brilliant. So go for it then, Dominic, that'd be great. Look at all those colours in there. Tell me what colours you can see, Milo. Mm, red. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Orange. Orange. Yellow, and, yellow. Uh, orange and yellow. Can you smell how nice it smells? Yeah. Thank you very much. Right, let's put this in the bowl then. Um, and there's some and there's some more green juice underneath. There's some more green juice underneath. Wow, now that is going to go so well with our Indian recipes for later. No, we don't need to cook this one. That's what's so nice about it. It can all be done on the countertop. It doesn't have to be cooked. And it's lovely and fresh for an Indian or even a side salad or a side dish. So there's our chutney. Shall we finish off our naans? Yes. Yes, good. We'll go and check our dough that we've had rising for the past hour. So we have our risen dough ready to be knocked back and to be worked out on the bench. The boys are both going to do that. Milo, you can see how much it's risen. Look at what's underneath. What can you see? Holes. We can see lots of holes. Mm. This is the yeast working into the mixture and it's produced all that gorgeous air to make it lovely and fluffy. We need to knock some of it back though, mind you, otherwise it'll be just too squishy for this mm. naan bread. Yeah. So I'm going to get some out, just take it away from the side of the bowl. We need a bit of flour on the bench. Popping some flour on the top just to stop it from sticking. Let's take it, the dough out. Now we're going to knock it back. It's called knocking back, just taking out some of those air bubbles and we can work it with our hands and that extra flour to stop it sticking to the board or my fingers. And then I'm going to separate it into two pieces for the boys. There's yours, Milo. There's yours, Dom. So what we need to do, Dom, if you can have a look, we need to just divide this into three pieces, okay? So we're going to give it a little squeeze in the middle and take one bit, two bits, and three. Oh, there we go. If you can do that too, Dominic, that'd be great. We're going to flatten it out with the palm of our hand just a little bit, if you can. Just give it a little flatten. I'll show you with one. Turn it over. Now we need to make these into almost a tear shape afterwards, but first of all, we're going to add some extra ingredients. We've got some here. Milo, what kind of things would you like in your naan bread? We've got some raisins, garlic, fennel and caraway and chilli and coriander. I want raisins. You'd like some raisins? Why don't you flatten yours out with the palm of your hand then for me? And I can sprinkle a couple of raisins on the top. And then I'd like you to fold it over and make a parcel so they're all in. Milo, if you can flatten yours out, you can choose what else you'd like to put in. Some coriander. coriander. Do you want to chop your coriander up in 
the pot for me, yeah. Milo. There we go. You do your chopping. You're going to pop in yours then, Dominic. Some raisins. Some raisins. Do you fancy a bit of garlic? Uh, yeah. A bit of garlic. Chilli's obviously a little bit spicy, so you maybe want to use that with a teaspoon. And then what we're going to do is just fold it over so we're making almost parcel. And then we trap all those lovely ingredients inside. There we go. And then fold it over. And fold it over, that's it, good boy. We've all made our naan breads ready to roll and to flatten out into that gorgeous shape that naan breads come. There's a little trick to this. Let's get one piece, grab your rolling pin, watch out for the others, start in the middle and I'd like you to do one rolled forwards and widen that bottom bit out by wiggling your bottom back. That's it. Ready? One roll forward and wiggle your bottom out with your rolling pin. Perfect. And as you can see, We've got some lovely ingredients poking through those lovely raisins that he popped in earlier. I'm going to get Dominic to pop them on the tray. We've greased our tray already, so do remember to do yours too. Can you pop them on for me please, Dominic? That's fab. We need to just coat these naans in a tiny bit of oil. I'm going to just give you a little dash on the top of the board there. And then I'd like you to dip the tops of your fingers in and just give them a little rub over just to lightly grease them and stop them from sticking and it gives that lovely glisten that you need when the bread's cooking. Rub it over just like Dominic's doing, look, he's doing such a good job there, well done Dominic. Right, are you ready? Should we pop them under the grill for two minutes? Yeah. yeah. Always get an adult to do this. Right, I think they're ready to go. So mind out Milo, because it's hot, hot, hot. Oh yeah, I can steam that steam. It's really hot. So Milo, this is your side. I'm going to pop yours here. I'm going to pop yours the other side, because we've got the chilli one, haven't we? There we have it. Boys, are you very proud of your efforts today? Yeah. I'm so proud of you too. We've made naan breads and a chutney. What a great effort. What was your favourite bit, Dominic? Putting all the ingredients inside the naan bread. And what about you? Did you like your little wiggle dance? I, I, I like doing the cutting. The doing the cutting. Well done. If you'd like to have a go at another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made. Take pictures and tweet them to at Eat Happy Project, hashtag Let's Cook Along. Say goodbye, boys. Bye. Bye. Bye.